ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Beginner Bass Lessons. Today we're going to be discussing something called articulations. And what an articulation is, is simply a way of playing a note, right? One articulation we're going to be talking about today is called vibrato. Another one is called the hammer-on. We have slides, pull-offs, legato, staccato, and bends. Now there's probably some that I'm leaving out. It is what it is. These are the ones I've chosen to do today. Let's start off with the hammer-on, okay? Now the hammer-on is essentially where you play one note regular. You fret it, you pluck it, and then the next note that comes after, you're gonna play it without plucking. You're just gonna apply the finger to the desired note, and you do that without plucking with the right hand. All right, pretty simple stuff. A little, tr little tricky at first, but there's your hammer on. You can do this in a million different ways. I would also consider doing like a triplet figure. So that you're doing three consecutive frets, but only picking the first. And you're hammering on those other two, all right? That concludes the hammer on. Now we're gonna take a look at the pull off. Now the pull off is kind of the opposite of the hammer on, right? With the hammer on, you play a note and you hammer into the next note. With a pull off, you're essentially doing the reverse. You're playing a note and then you're pulling off to the note below it, all right? So it's kind of the opposite of the hammer on pluck and pull off. All right, there's your pull off. Next we're going to talk about vibrato, excuse me, vibrato, all right? Now vibrato the word itself comes from the word vibrate, right? So you're just going to pick a note and you're going to kind of wiggle the finger back and forth on the fret, pushing down as you've played the note and you just kind of give it a little shimmy. Works a little easier on the uh, higher strings. It almost has like a, a fretless bass vibe to it. So there's your vibrato. Next we're going to take a look at legato. Now legato is basically where you kind of run one note into the next very little break in between. You could consider it like having the hammer on quality to it because you're not going to be playing or rather plucking all those notes. You're going to keep the notes long but also connected in a very continuous type of feel. All right. Then we've got bends. All right, you have half step bends and whole step bends. Most of the time you'll see bends on guitar, but we can still do them on bass. So I'm just gonna pick one of the higher notes here and we're just gonna bend up. So all you do with the bend is you play the note and as you're playing it, you want to lift up and you want to have one finger actually doing the guiding of the string up but you can you can add in a second finger to kind of aid in the process it's really awkward to just bend with one finger get a second finger in there to help out all right and then the last of the articulations would be called staccato Actually, it's not the last of our articulations. We have two more. We're going to go staccato, which essentially means playing the notes short or quick. And I don't mean quick like 
like 16th notes quick i mean quick more like short like if you're cutting something short you get the note out there and you stop it real quick so you're going to do a muting technique with the left hand where you push down and then just quickly lift back up you want to employ the note and then destroy the note okay keeping those notes short and quick all right the last articulation for the video is what's called a slide and the slides not something you want to overuse but every once in a while you'll find a place for a slide <coughs> typically what you're going to do you're either going to play a low note and slide up to the octave or you're going to do like the high note first and then slide down to the octave you're typically always going to slide to the octave of whatever note you started with Good practice would be to just start on fret two, slide up to fret 14, go to fret three, slide up to 15, go to four, slide up to 16, and so on. It looks really easy, but it's not. You gotta practice it. All right, now the last thing I wanna say about these is once you've learned what these articulations are practice them it's good to maybe combine one or two of them into an improv exercise so let's combine the slide and the hammer on all right so i'm going to start on three two i'm going to slide up to three fourteen and then i'm going to do a little hammer on kind of like a pentatonic box shape all right so slide back down so you got the slide you got the hammer we could also do a like a staccato with some vibrato okay so like something like that so you want to use these in your improv in your noodling and see what happens. Be creative. Try to think of things you haven't heard or seen before. Anyway, guys, that covers it for articulations. I hope that made sense. All right. If anybody has any questions, comments, leave them below as always. Thank you for watching.